Hey there everybody, W1RCP here, and this is the Will the 17 meter homebrew antenna base loaded POTA, Will it POTA. So, this is take two. Oh, forgot my iPad, where's my iPad? I could use paper, but I don't wanna. Okay, let's see how well this goes. I'm going to hook the antenna up first. I'm also going to zip my sweater up. It's about 49 degrees out, I guess, today. Maybe 55, but the breeze is blowing, so it's a tad bit chilly. And we have my... 77 inch counterpoise. Yeet. Just zing that over there. Cinch that down. All right, counterpoise is in place. Survived the fall, so that's good. I mean, she ain't purdy, but you know, what prototype turns out perfect when you're making stuff at home? Alrighty, so the antenna is connected. We'll connect the rest of my peripherals to my radidio. Of course, this is my external serial control for my radio so that I can uh, push buttons to make stuff happen. That build is definitely in another video. And we'll set this up so we can see what's going on. I already have a log created for today. It is um, from last night actually when I tried to do a 17 meter I did make three contacts on this antenna, maybe four. We still have to kind of find out uh, if if it worked. So um, last night I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contacts on 15 meter CW before uh, the day ended. So we'll see how we do today. I'm gonna slide this over here. I'm gonna slide over here a little bit and we will turn the radio on. I have a phone, I need to get ready to get spotted. We'll listen before I hit that tune button. In the meantime, I'll pull up the spots page and I will go ahead and get spotted or at least get ready to hit the go button. So 21.0505, wait, can't put a period in there, 05, 0 0.5. I hope this goes fairly quick because I'm, I'm chilly already. Holy cow, it tuned right up. We're spotted. But I'm not on the Cook County side today. I'm on the Coffin County side. It was one round. A little bit of noise over here today. Now, 
if this does take too long, more than 30 minutes, maybe I'll shorten the video. But I will have a timer at the bottom so you can see the elapsed time. Okay, so this is like literally across the lake. <laughs> this is Eddie. That's a lot of nines. <laughs> That's a laugh. Well, that's one, even though Eddie is literally probably a half, I think it's maybe three quarters of a mile from here. It's just across the lake. I'm on the Cockett County side. He's on the Cook County side in the campground. M0TTQ 549 <laughs> Listen, the proof is in the pudding. I just talked to Great Britain from here. Zero TTQ. I may have to turn the settings off to have weak signal mode because holy cow, I cannot deal with that noise. Well, I do have a button for that. Listen to that roaring noise. <laughs> it just worked. How many is that? Three now?
Let's try again. Now I do have me a wonderful lukewarm Mountain Dew. Still has the uh, turtle killer on it, so I can chop that up later. Ooh, that good. I went to the gas station to come here and uh, the Mountain Dew, the Diet Mountain Dew, looked like it was going to be coming out. It had lots of fizz. They got a new machine. I guess they need to fine tune it because it tasted bad. It tasted like fizz and like a, a green color. And that was it. I had to dump it out. And a, a drink this size, I can get a whole six pack of these for like four dollars from from the grocery store but at the gas station they wanted 250 and i went oh, i'll i'll thirst to death instead so that was really fast in a matter of three minutes <laughs> we got three Oklahoma. Let me just tell you, this is, this was a really fun project right here. This serial communications device using Arduino Nano really is a lot of fun because I don't have to lock my VFO, because most of the functions that I use, I'm trying to figure out if it's me. Or if it's just the bands. I could unplug this and find out if it's that. Well, no, I'm not gonna mess with it. See if it gives RF burn. No, there's very little reflected power this go round. <laughs> I like that. So I'm gonna go on a rove. I'm probably not gonna play with this anymore today. I'll probably just use the FT891 and the Jeep and the random wire. Um, I just needed to get out of the house. It's kind of a rough morning this morning. Of course, by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be like April 9th or something. April 8th is when I'll release this video. QRK. Five nine nine, no way. What? Probably not right now. My oldest is in the Jeep. I told him to charge the phone on the way here. And I have 
a power bank, but I don't know where it is. I'm using the other one to keep the GoPro going because I killed the battery on it yesterday. I mean, that's five. That's half of ten already. With this, I just, I'm ecstatic about that. I cannot believe that it works. So my next step for this antenna design is to one, make it off of parts that I can purchase from Amazon or Home Depot, um, you know, places we shop. Because Wisconsin. That's Kilo Alpha 9, Zulu Charlie Foxtrot. <laughs> this could be one of the shortest videos I've made. I think we're 10 minutes in now. Um, I want to make it reproducible from, air quote, off-the-shelf parts. I was yapping. yapping and missed the A. Do a longer CQ. Um, the BNC connector that I used, I've had well over 10 years. I used to work at an aircraft company and I had like the two parts of it. They just took one piece out of the box to fix something they had messed up before. And I've had it. Let's see, I got out of the army in 2005. It's probably when I got it. So yeah, I've probably had it 18 years. So, I can't remember who made it though. What manufacturer? So I couldn't find a viable replacement for it. Um, but a lot of stuff I'll buy from Amazon. I mean, it is what it is. Um, you can get these parts from anybody, but you know, Amazon, you can get things shipped directly to your door and um, not have to pay exorbitant fees because, I mean, we're members already. So get the parts where you want to get them from. Just make sure they kind of match up. If they don't, hey, fire up, fire up your 3D design program, modify whatever design I actually throw out there. Um, make your own. Don't even get the 3D printed body designed for me. Just take what I've taught you or shown you. You can make your own um, from whoever you want to get parts from. But I chose to get mine from Amazon. Uh, 
I also wanted to see would 5 watts melt it. I think it's good. <laughs> We've hit a slight lull here, but we're at seven. My hands are getting cold too. So at this point, of course, it is 15 meters. 15 meters, it's, it's not the busiest. So, I mean, there's gonna be some weight. I bet if I built a 40 meter version, that I could come out here at night and freaking blow it up real quick. Because, of course, you know, 40 meters, there's a ton of us down here in the, uh, well, I say down here, over here in the eastern United States. hands in my pockets. That breeze is chilly. But I said I was going to come out here and I was only going to activate on 15 meters. I'm just going to put it on repeat so I don't have to take my hand out of my pocket until somebody comes live. There must be a bounce house out here. There's a whole bounce house driving by birthday party probably well I've been spotted in seven land by an RBN take a picture of this beautiful setup. Let's see if I got the SWR. No, I'm not fast enough. I'll do a video next go around of that. So that, that video will be somewhere on this wonderful screen somewhere. Come on, we need three more to make it happen. <laughs> but we are also under a picnic area but still I mean we've 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 done really good to get seven Five two nine. In Ontario.
There is some QSB. That's eight. We're so close to the pinnacle. Thought I heard something way down there. What are we looking at on time? 2016 to 2035. It's been 19 minutes. And that includes, what, three minutes? There's three minutes of setup, maybe five minutes on the video. Well, shoot, I can just look. It's been 27 minutes now. We're real close to it. I rounded up. Yeah, so the way that I designed this, if you look at the video, I didn't show it very well, but on the back side of this, um, from where you're looking on the camera, I made a little port where I could put all of those things together. And you can see it glued right here. Oh, we have company. No, we don't. I just rubbed Q-Dope all over it and smushed it together to see how it would hold. Seems to be doing all right. <laughs> but there's a lip on it. That's the that is the lowest that I've gotten so far is a 449. That's my auto response. That was so I could talk. That's nine. Put that back on repeat. This is what I use to hold my um, counterpoises together. I'll wrap them up right here. And then I'll go. The only thing I don't like, I've, I've given myself enough time in this that I could probably get a full call sign without having to stop it. It's the only thing I don't like about the auto repeat is I don't know how to turn it off without hitting a key. Watch it be the message button. <laughs> I'll test it out at the end. Guess what? That's 10. It will pota! <laughs> yes! Yes! I think my kid's in the car.
Ooh. I know I heard an A3. I'll call CQ and see if that'll give them an opportunity to uh, ride the QSB wave. We did it. In 30 minutes or so of calling CQ, got 10 QSOs. Maybe I imagine that. Maybe I didn't hear an A3 at all. I don't think there is anybody there. I'll probably listen to the recording later and hear every letter and be like, oh. get one more I'm gonna shut her down and I'll go play POTA somewhere else and heck I got another video for uh, April 8th 2023 oh I just got battery low too I've, I've done quite a few activations I heard the V. You heard the V. I heard the V. Sometimes my key acts up and doesn't want to make certain things. It's almost like they're tail end and the repeater tone. Like you get just one letter and then <laughs> sucked out of the universe. the backlight off and say five five uh, milliamps <laughs> maybe can I turn this while it's doing let's go look oh yeah we're about nine volts 9.4 when it's key down we'll keep trying I'm just so daggum excited I can't pull the QSO map up on here yet because I'll have to edit it for the uh, POTA spots or QSO map. I said that to see where this antenna just talked to today. It's like Texas 
England, Vermont, Connecticut, Iowa, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, and of course, across that tiny little pond over there in Georgia. I'm going to text Eddie. How many is that now? Twelve. <laughs> so, I've got a video that Eddie shot of our QSO. So, you'll get to see the first QSO from the other side of the pond. Digital Zoom. All right, so I'll also add in a, a video of where he is in the pond <laughs> that I'm referring to is, is uh, what we affectionately call Reed Bingham. All right, what do you say we go QRT? I'm going to call CQ one long time and see what happens. But I am tickled pink, dude. I will call CQ one more time. I did want to see what would happen if you touched an antenna. Five one nine Nevada. It just screws the SWR way up. <laughs> Who knows what else? Well, now i got to call CQ again just to see. No, hitting the message button does not stop a message sending. And it still makes noise. Okay, this is the last time. Dun, 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 dun. Well, that's a baker's dozen right there, baby. Well, now I have to call CQ again. Texas.
Now we all know I want to call CQ again. <laughs> one more. It's kind of like just one more cast. Turns into one more cast. Nothing. All right. Put the fishing pole away. We'll go QRT. going on there. That is weird. That's so weird that they're all right so we're gonna save the files save the files which says replace both because I was out here last night before the new U2C day. And we will export the ADIV to my drive, which you're going to see I have not put logs in my home computer in a while. There's a bunch there. They could not wait to jump on that frequency. <laughs> oh. Yep. I bet that video on there is longer than 30 minutes. Yep. I'll have to split it in two to... I'm not doing that right now. It would put... All right. So let's take it apart. Seven inch counterpoise works like a charm. Then we take this wonderful binder clip and just squeeze that one in there. That one fits perfectly. <laughs> Look at that. Here's my bag, everybody. Boop. <clears throat> that doubles as a CW uh, key. Um, stereo cable for paddles all right and this is cleanup
All right, so here's how we pack this thing in the bag. We go iPad up behind the knee board to protect the screen. Zip that bad boy up. We got a piece of coax in there too. There's knee board, coax, and an iPad. Okay, so that's what goes up there. Then, I believe everything else squeezes on the inside. So I keep the battery in this one. I keep my serial talk box in there. And the antenna with its counterpoise. I keep that in there. I mean, I've kept it in there for what, a good 24 hours. Alrighty, so here's the good news. It will POTA. That means that it's a, a, a decent antenna. And that makes me super freaking excited. So my video that I posted last Saturday, April 1st, um, wasn't a waste of time. But, you know, I, I can accept a failure. I mean, there have been some things that I have royally screwed up and not been able to get to work. Inventions or, or projects and stuff like that. So, hey, it was not beyond the realm of possibility for me not to make something that worked. Or for me to make something that didn't work. Okay, that goes in there. Okay, camera I'll put away last. It goes on the outside. So here's the beauty of this bag. Zip. Zip. It does fold all the way out again. I'm not sponsored by Gigaparts, but this bag really is quite nice. I also found that. Uh, my friend Eddie KO4NLL, the first QSO that we had, he gave me those. This was my 276th activation. Actually, nope, 277th now. Alrighty, so camera goes in the bag. It's time to roll out. Alright guys, complete video. Roll the credits. Wow, those were some short credits. It's also raining. <laughs>